Hello and welcome to this training on Tableau with me. Tableau is a data visualization tool and in this session we are going to learn how to create basic Tableau dashboards. So for this training I am going to be using the Tableau Public Edition. The Tableau Public Edition is a free edition that is available from Tableau itself and you can go to their website and download it. So I'll put a link in the description box and you can go and download it if you already do not have the Tableau software. So once you're inside the Tableau, you can see that here on the left hand side, you have the option to connect to various data sources. So you can connect to a file data source, which can be of the type Excel, text file, JSON and so on. You can also connect to data sources on server. So there are various options for that as well. So for our example, we are going to be working with a Microsoft Access data set and it's a publicly available data set. It's called the Coffee Chain data set. So I'll again put the link down in the description box and you can go and access that database as well. So let's start with connecting to a Microsoft Access database. So I just need to click on Microsoft Access over here. So choose my data source type and browse to the path where I have my database stored and I can just say open. So now we can see our data source over here on the left hand side and this is the sample coffee chain data set. So this is a uh, coffee related sales data across the various states in the United States. So now I want to add this to my worksheets. So I just drag and drop the table that I want from this database over here in this window. And I can see that what is the data in this table. So I've got various columns like the profit, the sales, inventory and then the categorical columns like the product type which is coffee tea herbal tea and so on and within that product type we have different kind of products as well then we have the states in the united states and the sales that are taking place in those states so this is the data that we are going to be working with the next step is to create a worksheet that is going to be a part of your final Tableau dashboard. So to create a worksheet, you can just go over here and you already have a default sheet one worksheet created. So we can just click over here and the sheet would be displayed over here. Now in this worksheet, you can see that there are various panes. On the left hand side, you have your data and you have your dimensions and measures defined over here. So Tableau has defined them itself based on the metadata of your data source. So dimensions you can see are mostly defined. All these textual categorical values have come under dimensions and in the measures, they are mostly numerical values which can be aggregated upon. Now these other panes over here are known as shelves. So you have filters, you can define your filters, you have marks, so you can define your detail level, your color, you can change your color, text, tooltip, etc. And then you can define your various axes. So columns and rows would define your axis. And this is your final chart display window over here. So we have the data on the left hand side and we can just drag and drop it over here and create our charts. So let's say we want to uh, display in this chart the sales by product or product type. So the first step we can do is to give this sheet a relevant name. So we are going to display the sales by product. So let's just right click over here, go to rename and give it a relevant name, which is going to be sales by product. So this is similar to how you do it in an Excel worksheet. Just go right click and give it a relevant name. So now we have the sales by product worksheet created and we're going to create a relevant chart for this. So sales, first thing is sales, which is in your measures pane. So you can just drag and drop your sales over here and it would automatically aggregate it to the sum of sales. And we want to show it by the product type. So product type, let's just drag and drop to the columns. So your x-axis becomes your product type and you can see the name of the product. So you have coffee, espresso, herbal tea, tea and then these are your sales, your sum of sales for coffee and these different product types that you have created. Now let's say I want to change the color of these bars. So this is very simple. You can just go to color over here and choose your color, whichever color you want, you can choose. So you want it to be orange, you can choose it to be orange. You want it to be green, you can choose it to be green and so on. So you can choose your uh, preferred color, whichever color you want, you can choose it over here. So this is your simple chart, very simple to create. Just drag and drop your uh, columns and rows and our chart would be, Tableau would be creating automatically the recommended kind of chart for you. So these are your 
bar chart. This is a bar chart. Now let's say I also want to see it uh, or include the product which is a subcategory of the product type. I also want to see the sales by that. So you can just go over the dimension over here and just drag and drop product over here as well. So now you can see that within coffee you had three kinds of products so you can see different bars for those so you have different kind of products within this product type coffee then you have espresso and you can see the values the sales amount for these different kind of product within the product types. Now let's say I want to change I do not want the chart to look like this I want to change it uh, in a different kind of chart so which is going to be a stacked bar chart so stacked bar chart you can just go so on the right hand side if you see you have some of the chart types enabled so all these are the chart types which can be created with the type of data that you have selected in this worksheet the other ones are disabled meaning that those kind of charts cannot be created this kind of data so we have the option to choose any different kind of chart so tableau uses its own intelligence to suggest the best kind of chart that it see that is finds fitting for the data that we have selected but we have the option to select some other kind of chart as well so for this kind of data because i have a hierarchical kind of product structure over here i have a product type and then the product i do not want to see it over here i want to see it as a stacked bar chart so this is the option i can just click on it and create it as a stacked bar chart so here you can see that in the color option it has taken the product and these different colors denote the different kind of products within the product type. So your product type are displayed over here. So the coffee is your product type and there are three different kind of products within the coffee product type. And if you just place your mouse over here you can see that this the product over here is decaf irish cream and you can see the sales amount so different colors are now going to denote the different kind of products within your product type and so on so this is the kind of chart i wanted because i have included the product as well as product type and i wanted it to be a stacked bar chart now let's move on to creating some other charts so now I want to create my next chart. So I need to open another worksheet. To open another worksheet, I just need to go over here. And you have this new worksheet over option over here. Just click on this and your sheet 2 would appear. So similar structure, similar panes as we had in the other worksheet. So now let's say we want to display, we want to create a map view. So it's a geographical view. I want to create a map chart and I want to show, I want to show the sales by the states, different states in the United States. So now what I can do, I can use these two measures, which you can see over here, which are known as latitude generated and longitude generated. So these are locational measures, these are geographical measures, which are generated by Tableau itself. And they would identify the different states or the different cities or the different countries that you might have in your data. So Tableau would do it itself. So what we need to do on our part is simply drag and drop to the columns and rows these longitude and latitude measures. And once you drag and drop it, you can see that a map chart would be displayed over here. So now I want to fill this chart with the values that I want. I want to see the sales by the states. So sales is a measure over here. I just need to drag and drop the sales and this is the thing I want to see in my detail. So I want to see the sum of sales. So I can just go to detail over here and just drag and drop it over the details. So now I would be able to see my sum of sales and I want to see this by the state. So my state is over here in the dimensions uh, category. So I just need to drag and drop this to the color pane. So this is how it appears over here and the various colors you can see denotes the different states and their sales. So now again, this is a symbol map. What I want is a simple map view. So I want to change it to this particular chart. So let's go and select this particular chart and the state you can see they are all now in same color, but I want to differentiate them using different colors. So again, the state you can see from the icon over here that it has gone to the detail tab. I want it to be represented by different colors. So again, just drag and drop the state and just leave it over the color tab. So now you can see that the different colors over here are denoting your different states 
and the different sales that happen in those states now you can just click on click color itself and if you want you can edit the colors so these are the different colors that has taken automatically you have the options to change the color combination as well so that can be done as well so now i have this particular chart created and this is my sales by state so again i'm going to rename this chart to a proper value and this is going to be my sales by state now let's go back to the first chart that we created that is sales by product so now what i want to be able to do is to be able to filter the sales data of the different products and the product types by state so now i want to add the state dimension to my filters so i can just go drag and drop it to the filters shelf so once i drag and drop it to the filters shelf i have this option so i can have my filter created from this list i can give it a custom value list i can say use all i can use a wild card a condition and so on different options for now we are going to use this select from list so all of them let's select all of them for now and apply and okay so now i have this filter created and it is showing me the data for all the states now you just go to this filter and click on this drop down arrow over here and select this option of show filter so when you do this and then you have to hide this show me you can see that your filters have been added over here so this is your filter and now you can also see the legend that was added for the different product types so different colors and which color means which product type has been added over here and this is your filter so now you can change your filter so i do not want to see it for all I just want to see it for California. I want to see it for Florida. So your values would change based on the states that you select. So now we have this filter on our chart, which we can use to see the sales values by product or product type in the different states. So now that we have created two different charts, let's go and create a Tableau dashboard. So to create a Tableau dashboard, you can go to this icon over here and this says new dashboard so just click on it and this window would open here and let's change this to floating and you can see that there are various device views so device preview and you can select the device type so you want it for the desktop you want it for a tablet you want it for a phone so you can design based on that so let's say desktop view and you can see the sheet or you can also choose the size so you can put all your own minimum and maximum size over here. So now you can see the sheets that we created, the worksheets on the left hand side over here. So let's go ahead and add those sheets to a dashboard. So the first one that we want to add is the sales by product. So just drag and drop it over here and place the different objects to the correct position. So this is our legend. Let's place it over here for now. This is a filter. Let's move it to the right hand side. Uh, this is a chart. So again, I'm going to move it a little here and make it a little bigger. And this is a legend. Let's make it a little smaller. And again, move it over here somewhere. And now we can add our next chart. So let's add the sales by state. Just drag and drop as we did the earlier one. Let's add the second worksheet, which is sales by state. Move the legend over here. Make it a little narrow. Probably. And make this a little bigger. So now we have this sales by state now we can also add a text or an image so probably we want a title for the dashboard so add a text box over here and give a title so this is our sales dashboard and you can format it make it bold and whatever 
we'll just select the whole text make it a little bigger make it bolder make it a different color if you want so this is your sales dashboard again you can place it All right. so this is going to be a dashboard so we have this filter over here as you can see so if you select all this filter would affect the sales by product chart and you would be able to see the data for all the states now the next thing that we want to do in this dashboard is apply this filter to this chart as well so we want to make it more interactive so when i select my state i should be able to see the sales by product and product types for that state as well as the total sales for that state in the second chart as well so how can i do that so to do that let's go back to a sales by product worksheet and go to the filter that we created just click on the drop down over here and go to this option that says apply to worksheets so apply to worksheets all using this data source or you can have your selected worksheets as well you can see that currently only this worksheet has been selected so this filter is affecting only this worksheet so we have only two worksheets we can simply say all using this data source so now once I have done me or made that change and go back to the dashboard and now let's say I choose a state Florida you would be able to see that this filter applies to both the charts now so you can see the sales over here in the first dashboard which are only for the Florida state as well as the sales by state the total sales you can see only of the Florida state you choose some other province so you can see that province added as well so now this filter applies to both the charts so this dashboard has become more interactive so when I want to display it and somebody wants to analyze the data for these particular set of states he is able to analyze the data together in both the charts so this is how you can add this interactivity to your dashboards by using or making the use of filters across the worksheets as well so this is how you can create a basic tableau dashboard as you can already see this is very visually appealing it is very interactive tableau has got a lot of powerful features which will help us to create very powerful dashboards and which are very useful for data visualization but this should be enough to get you started with tableau we'll have more videos coming up in which we'll explore more features of tableau and learn how to create more powerful dashboards as well. I hope you like this video. Please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such videos. Thank you and have a good day.